Have you ever stared up at the night sky and wondered how it all began? Not just the stars, not just the galaxies, but everything. Space, time, matter, energy. Everything we know, and everything we don't. The Big Bang Theory has given us the most widely accepted explanation for the origin of our universe. But what if that moment, the supposed beginning, wasn't really the beginning at all? What came before the Big Bang? That question is as thrilling as it is mind-boggling. It doesn't just challenge the boundaries of science, it presses against the very limits of human understanding. It's like trying to peer beyond the edge of a map where no landmarks exist. And yet, across the fields of physics, cosmology, and philosophy, bold minds are daring to ask exactly that. To understand what might have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to understand what the Big Bang actually was. Despite the name, it wasn't an explosion in space. Rather, it was an explosion of space, an expansion of the very fabric of the cosmos. About 13.8 billion years ago, the universe emerged from an unimaginably hot, dense state, and began expanding. Time and space as we experience them came into being. The laws of physics, the flow of time, the dimensions of space, everything started at that singular moment. But this leads us to a deep, almost paradoxical problem. If time itself began with the Big Bang, how can we ask what came before it? Isn't that like asking what's north of the North Pole? This philosophical dilemma doesn't stop scientists from exploring further. In fact, it drives them. One of the most compelling ideas that attempts to go beyond the Big Bang, is the concept of cosmic inflation. This theory proposes that a fraction of a second before what we call the Big Bang, the universe underwent a phase of exponential expansion. This expansion happened so rapidly and with such force that it smoothed out the irregularities in the early universe, making it uniform on large scales. But cosmic inflation brings its own questions, what started this rapid inflation? What caused it to stop? And where did it take place? Some physicists suggest that inflation wasn't a one-time event. Instead, it could be happening eternally, giving rise to a vast multiverse, a cosmic landscape filled with countless universes, each forming in its own Big Bang-like event. In this scenario, our universe is just one bubble in an infinite sea of bubbles. Each bubble might have different physical laws, different particles, even different numbers of dimensions. And in some of them, perhaps life never forms. In others, maybe something far beyond our imagination thrives. But let's go even deeper. What if the vacuum of space, the emptiness we often assume to be nothing isn't empty at all? According to quantum physics, the vacuum is alive with activity. Virtual particles constantly pop in and out of existence, borrowing energy from the vacuum itself. This quantum foam might have played a crucial role in creating our universe. A random fluctuation in this sea of energy could have triggered inflation and set the stage for the Big Bang. If that's true, then what we call nothing might actually be the ultimate something, a teeming, restless field of potential waiting to become real. And then there's the idea of cyclic universes. What if our universe wasn't the first, and won't be the last? Some theories propose that the cosmos goes through endless cycles of birth, expansion, collapse, and rebirth. The Big Bang, in this case, wasn't the ultimate beginning, it was just the latest chapter in an eternal cosmic rhythm. In each cycle, a universe collapses into a singularity and bounces back into a new expansion phase perhaps with different parameters, different laws, and different outcomes. Physicist Roger Penrose introduced a bold version of this idea called conformal cyclic cosmology. 
he suggests that when a universe expands so much that particles lose all mass and time becomes meaningless, it can transition seamlessly into a new Big Bang. In this view, the end of one universe becomes the beginning of another, without a true break in continuity. The implications are stunning, evidence of a previous universe might be imprinted in the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang, just waiting to be decoded. But that's not the only place to look for echoes from before the Big Bang. Some scientists are turning to gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by colossal cosmic events. These waves can carry information from the most violent moments in the universe, like black hole collisions or neutron star mergers. If we could detect gravitational waves from a time before the Big Bang, they might offer a faint but vital clue about a deeper reality beyond our own. Now, let's not forget dark energy, the mysterious force causing the universe to accelerate as it expands. No one knows exactly what dark energy is or where it came from. Some speculate it could be a leftover remnant from a previous cosmic phase, a sort of memory encoded in the very structure of spacetime. Could dark energy be the ghost of a universe long gone, still influencing our cosmos today? Another fascinating contender is loop quantum gravity. This theory tries to merge general relativity with quantum mechanics by suggesting that space and time themselves are made of tiny, indivisible units, like atoms of spacetime. In this model, the universe didn't spring from nothing, but rebounded from a previous state. The Big Bang would then be a bounce, not a birth, a transformation of a collapsed universe into a new one. And then there's string theory, one of the most ambitious and complex attempts to explain everything in the universe. String theory suggests that the fundamental particles we observe are actually tiny vibrating strings, and that the universe has more than the four dimensions we experience. Some versions of this theory propose that our universe exists on a three-dimensional brain floating in a higher dimensional space. If two such brains were to collide, the impact could create a burst of energy, a big bang. Perhaps our universe was born from just such a collision, and perhaps another is already forming somewhere else, waiting to collide again. As strange as these ideas may sound, they all share one thing, they challenge the assumption that the Big Bang was the beginning of everything. Instead, they hint at a deeper, more intricate reality, one that stretches beyond time, space, and perhaps even our capacity to comprehend. If time itself began with the Big Bang, then asking what came before may be like asking what's outside the edge of the universe, a question that collapses under its own assumptions. But if time, space, and the universe itself are part of something larger, something eternal, then we might not be the first ones to ask that question. Or the last. So what came before the Big Bang? Was it a previous universe? A quantum fluctuation? A timeless, higher dimensional realm? The truth is, we don't know yet. But that's what makes the question so powerful. It pushes the boundaries of science, philosophy, and imagination. It dares us to confront the unknown, not with fear, but with curiosity. Here at Discovery at 2.0, we believe that questions like these are what make science a never-ending adventure. As we build better telescopes, refine our theories, and push deeper into the cosmic dark, we move one step closer to understanding our true origins. And maybe, just maybe, one day we'll finally peer beyond the veil, and discover what lies before the beginning.